The traditional classroom features a regular teacher up in front of the classroom teaching to the class and basically a talking head speaking at the students. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, anyone, the Tariff Bill, the Hawley-Smoot Tariff Act, which anyone raised or lowered, raised tariffs in an effort to collect more revenue for the federal government. Did it work? Anyone? Anyone know the effects? It did not work, and the United States sank deeper into the Great Depression. Today, we have a similar debate over this. Anyone know what this is, class? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone seen this before? The Laffer Curve. Anyone know what this says? It says that at this point on the revenue curve, you will get exactly the same amount of revenue as at this point, this is very controversial. Does anyone know what Vice President Bush called this in 1980? Anyone? Something D-O-O -O economics. Voodoo economics. And then you have the constructivist classroom where the students work in collaborative groups. The instructor is more of a facilitator rather than just a talking head. And it's definitely more student-centered. Uh, the knowledge is also constructed from the students' prior knowledge and their own cultural knowledge. Okay class, let's get into our collaborative groups.